so here we go from here on to you what ever is happening now I, I assume this is a dream oh mighty great tree of origins bringer of prosperity since time immemorial a O ancient kings maidens of yore cast thine gaze upon us Donna Eclusia I name you the new maiden of the great tree I am honored to be chosen behold the birth of a new maiden May the young maiden Donna usher us with her divine essence. This is so moving. Yes, I never expected a troublemaker like Donna would be chosen. Shh, be quiet. Sorry. I must admit, I'm very surprised by this, Olga. After everything that happened, I thought you would be chosen. With that incident, Donna proved that she is capable of taking bold, decisive action. I can't say that I think her actions are wise, nor can I pretend to even understand them. But emotions aren't logical, and the people feel as though they can rely on her decision-making. I will never accept this. So you say, Olga, but who is the one person who is always there to help Donna? Only because her reckless actions invite further trouble. <laughs> Just be honest admit that you worry about her. Speaking of which, are you attending the Arboreal Awakening tomorrow? As the new maiden, it's the first major event that Donna must participate in. I guess I'll do her a favor and attend. We have been friends for a long time. <laughs> I knew you would say that. What is going on? Temple of the Great Tree. That is the schedule for today. Your Eminence, are you tired from all the ceremonies you've attended these past few days? Yes, a little. We will be departing for the Great Valley, where the Arboreal Awakening will be held. We still have some time before we depart. Perhaps you would like to get some rest? Yes, I would very much like that. Thank you kindly. You should get some rest too. I think it would do us both good. I certainly shall. When you are ready to leave, please, come let me know. I will. Thank you. So are we, like, what's going on right now? Ah, there we go. All this formality is wearing me out. I should go walk around first. Whoa. Um... Oh, this is going to be a weird place to start. So, I've been recording these past few episodes back to back. And, um, like, we, we're hitting the six hour mark. And I need to actually stop recording so that way I can take a break. Um, yep. I'm going to be really confused when I come back. But at least I'll come back confused, which is exactly the point of reference that I am right now. Um, she's level 43? Oh my god, she has dual blades! I can't change her appearance or anything. Hey all you cool cats, and welcome back to another episode of E8, where we are playing as Donna. Um... This is really strange, but... Um, okay. I don't, I don't really know exactly what to do, so I guess we'll just quickly talk to some of these NPCs. I'm not going to do any voices for this because I just really want to read past it. 
So let's go ahead and do this. Of course, the royal palace's preparations will be perfect. The arboreal awakening will proceed without any issues. Now please notify everyone who will be in attendance. This is a very important ritual for the Kingdom of Eternia. Please be sure not to make a single mistake. I'll be waiting right here. Please try to get some rest until it's time to leave. Thank you, Atla. You should get some rest too. I, I couldn't possibly. As your handmaid, it's my duty to serve you, your eminence. I see. She used to be like a cute little sister, but now she acts all formal around me. This is really awkward. <clears throat> Adana doesn't seem to be the type to actually care all that much for formalities. I have no which way. Which way am I supposed to go? It's almost time to begin purifying the Great Valley. We need to go through, prepare, we need to thoroughly prepare it for the Arboreal Awakening. I'm confident you'll succeed at this ritual. May the Great Tree always guide you. Is this the right way? <laughs> oh no. Alright. Okay, now I must prepare for the ceremonial dance. I'll be praying for your safe return, your eminence. Three days of festivi festivities follow the arboreal awakening, during which you'll perform the ceremonial dance for the people. Oh yeah. The whole kingdom is abuzz with excitement now that a new maiden has been chosen. It's all anyone is talking about. What voice did I give? It's <laughs> my my punishment for uh, not playing this game recently is that I've I've forgotten what voice I gave Donna. I think I just gave her my normal voice because she doesn't have a very particular voice. I don't want to give her like a sickly sweet voice. Okay. The game is gonna tell me where to go. Um. Oh, I thought for a second my, my thing was stuck. So what is this? Archaeopardic Ar swing? I don't know how to pronounce that word. An ancient bird's wings that lets one jump twice. Oh my god. I can't wait until she like somehow gives that to my uh, my main team. Maybe we'll find it? I don't know. Oh my god, this is great. Oh look, there's somebody up here I needed to talk to. Maiden of the Great Tree. I guess I should actually do voices here. <clears throat> Are you ready, Maiden of the Great Tree? Yes, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I assume you won't be joining me. Now that a new Maiden has been chosen, I've retired to assume an advisory role. Besides, you are now in a position to lead your the people, your eminence. You needn't be so proper with me. I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to this. The Arboreal Awakening is inspired by the trials undergone by the First Maiden. You will journey through the Great Valley alone until you arrive at a patch of hollowed ground. Though it is a ritual, please treat it with the same seriousness you would any other duty. Yes, I understand. Your duty is first and foremost. After all, you are the maiden of the great tree, guiding beacon of all Eternia. Today is our last day with Lady Er. Ergonata? Ergonata? <laughs> As a librarian, I miss being able to talk to someone so knowledgeable about history and ancient texts, such as the will of fate. I pray the great tree guides her path. <laughs> oh, there's a person I could talk to here. At the bottom of the great valley, there is a small patch of hollow ground that no one is permitted to approach. They say that's where the new maiden will undergo the arboreal awakening. After planting a prayer tree sapling, she will offer a prayer and then receive a vision of Eternia's future. 
<laughs> With your excellent foresight, I'm sure you will receive a wonderful vision. Best of luck to you, your eminence. Blessings of the great tree be upon you. Okay. Oh. Is there anyone else I need to find? Oh, there's someone here. I still can't believe that Lady Donna was chosen. I was all but certain that Lady Olga would be. Huh? Lady Donna! Please forgive my candor! No, it's okay, really. I'm just as surprised as you are that I was chosen. It would really help me if you... If more people were as honest as you, Sienna. You, thank you, Your Eminence. I really need to work on my tendency to speak without thinking. By the way, do you know what's going to happen to the other maiden candidates? Now that a maiden has been chosen, the others are left with two options. They stay and serve at the temple or return to their normal lives. I wonder if Lady Olga and Sarai have already made their decision. Me too. I've been so busy that I haven't had a chance to ask them yet. I wonder what they're going to do. Okay, look. I figured out the map. <laughs> it's this way. Okay, so somebody's to the, the right. Okay, yeah. go this way. Hee <laughs> hee! Everyone looks busy. It'd be such a shame if a thief took advantage of this. Hmm, can I help you? Ah, I've been caught! <laughs> playing hide and seek, huh? If you get caught playing in here, a really scary lady will get mad at you. Fine! Oh well, at least I got to meet the maiden everyone's been talking about. I guess I'll head back for today. Huh? Hee hee hee. Good luck on your trial. <clears throat> she had the style of a of a main character. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute little girl. Her clothes seem out of place. I wonder where she's from. Well, she didn't look like she was lost, so I'm sure she'll be fine. It's almost time. I have to depart. I don't see Olga or Sarai nearby. I'm sure I'll see them again. Oh my gosh. I have to go talk to Atla. This way. I'll be departing soon, Your Eminence. Did you still want to rest? Let's depart for the Great Valley. Thank you. I'm alright now. Let's depart for the Great Valley. As you wish, our traveling party has already finished their preparations. The caravan is waiting for you outside. doing here your eminence we are honored to bear witness as you perform the arboreal awakening okay so that's Olga I didn't think she would have green hair thank you for allowing us to be part of this Come on, stop it, you guys. This is gonna be weird now. <sighs> With all due respect, your eminence, you have already submitted yourself to the great tree of origins. Please strive to conduct yourself in a more dignified manner as befits your station. Royalty and their subjects will all be in attendance to witness the proceedings. Yes, I will. Your eminence must journey to the hallowed ground of the Great Valley, in accordance with the ancient precepts. You shouldn't encounter any danger as you undergo this trial. But please, do not overexert yourself. 
Are they the same age? Because Donna looks tiny compared to everyone. Like, like, I don't know how to put this. Like, is she, like, really young? I'm confused. If you need anything, we will not be far. I understand. Thank you. Once you set foot on that hallowed ground, you will submit yourself to the Arboreal Awakening. But first, you must make your way to the depths of the Great Valley. Now, Your Eminence, please conduct the opening ceremony of the Arboreal Awakening. Okay. Donna, I have answered the call of the Great Tree of Origins, and offered myself to become its appointed maiden. I stand ready to undergo my trial, so that Eternia may receive blessings everlasting. O oh, Great Tree, O oh, Maiden's Past, please, let your strength wash over me. Let the Arboreal Awakening commence! Well done, Your Eminence. Please, make your way to the end of the path. The trial begins now. Thank you. Essence Equipment. Donna is equipped with special items known as Essence Equipment. The Essence Equipment Arch <coughs> The Essence Equipment Archaeopteryx <laughs> allows Donna to perform a double jump. That's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, look at her weapons. Ah! Such a cool yeah. weapon. Well, yeah. Weapons. Look at that. Yeah. What level is she? She's level 43? Holy smokes. Okay, well, I guess she's not joining my team anytime soon. <laughs> that fruit looks so yeah. <sighs> These scales. Oh my gosh. What is going on? There's like a wind knocking me back. Okay. Whoa, I guess we gotta move when the wind isn't blowing. Is that where I need to go? Oh, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> I've gone as deep as I can go. Is that the hollowed ground I seek? Your Eminence, I'm glad you are safe. You have arrived at the hollowed ground without any complications. Now then, please begin the Arboreal Awakening at once. Understood. <laughs> at last. Donna will witness the future of Eternia. Yes.
Donna? Donna, what's wrong? Are you all right? I... I can't breathe. Donna, are you okay? Yes. I just felt like I was drowning. I think I got too nervous, that's all. Are you... Never mind. As long as you're sure you're okay, that's all that matters. I mean, you were Your drowning. Eminence, have you safely completed the awakening? Yes, it went fine. I saw a vision of a calm, beautiful ocean. How wonderful. A calm ocean is a symbol of peace and prosperity. Surely Eternia will know peace in your time. Well, it was peaceful and then it went stormy. Yes. What was that vision? And why was it? I don't feel good about whatever that was. Chapter 3. Surpassing Gendarm... Gendarm... <laughs> Gendarm... I don't know what the word is that. Huh? Oh, that's the sound of me waking up. I feel like I just had a very long dream. No, I'm not sure if that really was a dream. Adel could not shake the, his strange feeling that he had briefly become this Donna person. Oh, really? It's wild. And we've been really making this place cozy the more I look into it. There's nobody in here. Okay. Let's go outside. evade my deadly ramming attack. Uh, <laughs> and you are? Kina? Did you forget already? All right, settle down, Quina. Oh, it's Quina. <laughs> Barnacles, his dogie. See you around, at all. It's been one week. Quino was unconscious when the captain saved her, and she's too innocent to understand what's happened to him. It's actually pretty funny how she ended up on the Lombardia. She was playing at the harbor and snuck aboard while the cargo was getting loaded. So she's a stowaway. <laughs> yeah, a cute little stowaway. Her presence is actually helping some of the castaways take their mind off of what happened. But you know something, Adol. As adults, we can't just sit around and mope forever. We need to discuss our future plans. Can you bring Loxia and Sahad so we can chat? I'll be waiting at the village center. Uh, I'm sure one of them's up here. <laughs> I'm sure this'll be a big hit. Oh, Adol! Perfect timing. I've got some new items in stock. I call them gift items. They're for my private collection, and they make excellent gifts. Well, I mean, we don't want everyone feeling bummed out around here, do we? 
I just want everyone here to have a little extra spring in their step. I'll make sure they're cheap. You'll buy them, won't you? Sure. Phew, that's good. Stop by again when you have the time. Perhaps something will happen if you give a castaway a gift. Completing quests or giving gifts will increase a castaway's approval. Oh, it improves their skills and stuff. Um, you can view a castaway's approval in the people page of the journal. By increasing a castaway's approval, their raid support skill will be enhanced. At maximum approval, something nice might happen. They might give me like a piece of equipment or something. Oh, are you also here to get your equipment repaired by Kathleen? I'm here for my kitchen knife. It's unfortunate about the captain, but we have to pull ourselves together. As the one in charge of the castaway village's kitchen, I'll do my best. I hope you'll do the same. Everyone seems to be taking the captain's loss really hard. I know I couldn't have gotten this spithy up and running without him. Everyone had a lot of respect for him. I know he'll be missed. That being said, we don't have time to mourn forever. Guess I don't need to tell you that Laxia needs cheering up. She's on top of the hill. Might be good if you talk to her. Okay, I kind of figured someone would be up here. Oh, our plants. Oh, they're not grown. Phew, thanks to the waterworks, farming got a lot easier. I heard that our officer is the one who built the waterway. Honestly, he does a lot of work. I think he's better suited to be a craftsman, don't you? This place keeps looking better and better, really. <laughs> Queena is always positive and bright. She's just like the sun. But ever since that incident, I feel I don't understand God's intentions. Captain Barbaros should have been worthy of being saved. Oh, Pearl, Pearl, wise and tall, who's the most beautiful of them all? Beautiful Allison. Allison! Wait, wait, what? Okay then, who's the most evil of them all? Evil Togi, he scolds you for pranks. I see, I see. Alright then, go sneak out some apples from the storage when he isn't looking and deliver them <laughs> to Allison. Roger, will do. Adol. It feels like we've been rudderless for the past week. I took for granted just how much we had come to depend on the captain. We have to keep moving forward. Yes, I understand. The captain's not here to guide us anymore. Our fate is in our own hands now. That much is obvious, yet I can't help but feel a sense of dread at the prospect. The captain and the other castaways have been protecting me this whole time. Ever since I came to this island, no. Possibly even before then. Even before? Yes. You remember how frustrated I used to get when I, we first arrived here? That's because I couldn't accept that I had been uprooted from my sheltered life of privilege. In hindsight, I'm really embarrassed by my former conduct. You've changed, Laxia. <coughs> I almost feel like you're talking down to me. I'd like to start making my own decisions so I can accept responsibility for my future. I don't want to feel like I need to be protected. I want to protect others, just like the captain. <laughs> I totally understand. Sahad. You can't face the sea unless you first accept how small you are. Believe me, Laxia, I know exactly how you feel. Ah. Uh, we don't got the captain anymore to give us our life structure. From now on, we gotta rely on our own judgment as we move forward. We're gonna be okay. 
Yeah. Besides, you don't know, just got us, you got Dogie, Yoron, and the others too. The captain may be gone, we're still part of his crew, and we still gotta look out for each other. Yes, you're right. Alright, let's go. Wonder what's taking us so long. We all gotta survive, so we can fulfill the captain's last wish. God, that's so sad. I really didn't want him to die. Captain Barbaros' main goal was to build a ship and get everyone off this island. But I'm not so sure we can build a ship that big. You'd need a ship expert shipbuilder with detailed blueprints to pull that off. Unlike the captain, all I know about ships is how to steer them. And even if we did build a ship, that marine primordial is still out there. Unless we drive it back somehow, we'll meet the same fate as Sir Carlin. That's a lot to think about. I mean, where do we even start? I guess it's just a matter of keep searching the island. Maybe we'll find a ship. Maybe you will find... I don't know. At any rate, we're not in a position to leave this island just yet. Our current knowledge is too narrow to facilitate an escape attempt. We need to gather more information. We've already found the bodies of several pirates, as well as various notes throughout the island. I'm sure there are more secrets on this island waiting to be found. Adol's right. We should focus on gathering information for now and figure out how to escape later. We've explored the island's southern region, but we haven't even set foot in the north. Oh, that's right. A while back, the captain and I did some exploring to see if there was a way to head north. The only way to head north is to scale that giant mountain in the center of the island. You mean that daunting peak that can be seen from every corner of the island? Oh, Jesus. That's the one. You have to go through a huge valley to reach the foot of the mountain. It's a pretty difficult trek. A huge valley? We've been there, haven't we, Adol? Yeah, I remember. It's that spot we said we'd check later. That valley is rather difficult to pass through, though. I hear you. If there were, only was a way around it, maybe we could build a bridge? Well, whatever we end up doing, we got ourselves a goal now. Right, we must pass through the valley somehow and reach the central mountain. Man, that mountain. <laughs> it sort of reminds me of Euron. A real hard ass, always standing at attention. <laughs> if it reminds you of an uptight military man, perhaps we should call it... Gendarme. What was that now? What well, I don't know what voice that is. Oh, you, of course. What was that now? Uh, um... Ahem. <laughs> nothing. Perfect timing. At all, we have to think how we respond to the beast raids in the future. We don't have to give anyone. We don't have anyone to give us orders. Pretty much on our own now. Maybe Euron takes over that role. So I was hoping Euron could help me out by taking command during the raids. With the nameless Ripper case solved, we need to find a way off this island so we can properly pay our respects to our fallen allies. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Thanks. I'd also like you to help around the village since you're surprisingly good with your hands. He's cleaned up some rusty items that washed ashore till they were good as new. But really? Hmm, surprised. N no I just never would have guessed that about you. Apparently he could craft small accessories for you. I have no intention of replacing the captain, but I'll do what I can to help out. You don't have to worry about anything here. Just keep exploring the island. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> leave it to us. All right, Adol. Let's find a way off this rock. 
I know you won't let us down. You're on open a workshop. You can now craft armlets and accessories as well as dismantle items. You can craft blah 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 blah. Dismantle an item to regain some of the materials used to create it. Use the regained materials to create new items. Interesting. What about this board? Ooh, a wish tree. My homeland has a tradition where we write a wish and tie it to a tree. I want to try doing it here, too. Can someone help a guy out? I wish to prepare a certain medicine. Could someone find me the ingredients? <coughs> Hunt Agiadilla. Agiadilla was seen in the Great Valley. The beast looks pretty tough. I'm going to make... It's going to make trouble for everyone. So hurry up and deal with it. Report to Euron. Okay. So let's talk to everybody. Um, yeah, the Agia Agia. Oh, wait. Yeah, the Agia Agia. I've been hearing stories of some seriously tough creatures skulking around the valley. I don't want any of the villagers getting hurt when they go out of that way. Point being, you mind handling it. The beast habitat has been added to the map. Thank you. Okay. At all. I actually wanted to try and brew a particular medicine. It's a difficult formula and we never know when the primordials may return. With that in mind, I'd like to give it my best effort. I need one sparkling mucus and one sparkling leaf. If you find those materials, could you bring them to me? Do I not have those? Really? Trade up. Take your time! Okay, what is all this? Oh, so these are the rare items. A teddy bear, a rich haul banner, hard liquor, <laughs> precise needle, silver barrette. Okay, so I guess. <laughs> this one is special. Teddy bear. <laughs> This one is special. Lustrous scale. <laughs> this one is special. Precise needle. <laughs> this one is special. Oh, he wants the hard liquor. Adol. Adol presented Dogie with the hard liquor as a gift. Oh, now that's the stuff. Nice find, Adol. I'm glad you found that. Well, you're happy. Yeah. Well, yeah, the hardest thing about being on a deserted island is that there's not a drop of booze to drink. All I can do is yearn for alcohol to drift ashore. It's a tough life. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this later. Thanks, partner. Yay. You like that. Oh, Allison, you definitely wanted the needle. Adol. Adol presented Allison with the precise needle as a gift. Wow, this is a lovely needle. Are you sure I can have it? Please use it to help us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a tailor, after all. Oh, Haddle, there's a frayed spot on your shoulder. May I take a look real quick? Adol removed his fraying shirt. Thank you very much. If it's just this, <laughs> I'm already going to put this needle to good use. With skilled hands, Allison repaired the fray on Adol's shirt. Okay, all done. Thank you. No, no, thank you. I'm so surprised at how easy that needle is to use. I'll be able to help out a lot more by using this needle. I'll get better at it so I can surprise my husband. Oh, it maxed out. So, does something happen? There's two people over here. Lexia. <gasps> you want the teddy bear? I thought it was the little girl. Adol. Adol presented Laxia with the teddy bear as a gift. Wow. Oh my, what a cute little teddy bear. Hmm. It feels so plush and has all the right details. These big round eyes, so cute. Um, Adol, I'm happy that you're giving me a gift, but... 
Why a stuffed doll? You're giving your gift to a proper lady, so you know. Uh, don't you like it? No. I didn't say that. Um. But even if you treat me like a child, I'm a little taken aback. No, please ignore that. It's very rude of me to say such things. Anyway, thank you very much. I'll pick better next time. Yes, so long as you understand, then all is well. Actually, I had been thinking that the interior of my room was a tad barren. We're always so busy. It's important to have something soothing to look at. <laughs> yes, I'm going to redesign my room right now. Whoa, you get strength up? Oh my gosh, I get strength up? Shoot, this teddy bear was amazing. Do you like stuff? I should focus on acting for everyone's benefit. God must feel the same way. Impurities are evil. To be healthy, one must purify their soul. If you don't mind, I can help you with your laundry. If you're in a hurry, feel free to remove your clothes right over there. Please stop by any time. No, I wanted to see if you wanted anything I had. No, well, clearly not. Clearly, any of the gifts I had, she does not care about. I don't remember what all I bought. I think there was, like, a, a great hall banner, which makes me think that, like, yeah, you. <laughs> Adol. Adol presented Sahad with a rich hall banner as a gift. Oh! Oh, the pride of all fishermen, a banner denoting a big fish hall. Look at this sucker, makes me want to get out to a ship right now. <laughs> Looks motivating. Yeah! It is! If you return with this banner up, everyone in the village will cheer! It's a sign for a feast, in a way. It's a big source of pride among fishermen. At all. From what I saw, you're pretty skilled at fishing, at all. Wanna fish the high seas with me someday? I'll take you to a good spot. Sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll show you how to real fisherman. I'll sh blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'll show you how real fishermen have fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, give me that strength up. Woo! I love it. <laughs> Yo, Adol, you want to hear me talk your ear off? Back home. We got this custom where we write down our wishes and decorate a tree with them. We call it a wish tree. I don't know why, but it always puts a smile on your face. I was thinking maybe we could try doing the same thing here. That's a great idea. <laughs> Ain't it? Only problem is finding the right tree. A good wish tree has got a distinct look. It's got a white trunk and lush looking leaves. Back home, the tree we use grows only in the mountains. I wonder if the same sort of tree can be found here on the Isle of Saren. I'll help you find one. Oh, well, that's reassuring to hear. We'll not get this out together at all. Okay. How many... Is there any other... items. Oh, here it is. Precise. Okay, these were the gifts I gave away. Okay, so those are... Alright, I, I gave away all the gifts. Did I have any, any extra fish? Boo! <laughs> you jumped, I saw it! <laughs> you let your guard down because my flower guarding is so relaxing, right? But you'll keep your eyes peeled next time, he. I planted this flower garden. Okay, she's the one who planted it. That's cute. <coughs> I don't have any more fish. I don't have any more fish. You know, I haven't seen Hummel in a while. Might make exploring easier if we got him to help us out. 
He may be an asset in combat situations, but we never know where to find him. I'd rather have someone else, anyone else, help us instead. Well, there's probably more castaways out there waiting to be rescued. Guess we just gotta keep our eyes peeled for him. <laughs> yes, he's so unreliable, just like him. Huh? You say something? I it's nothing. Let's head out to Gendarme. I don't know if it's Gendarme. We're going to that big mountain? My sea legs aren't made for this. <gasps> it's too late to start complaining. Now keep moving. You're becoming a real spitfire, little lady. Okay. <laughs> You're pretty good. Ooh. Got it. Well, there's the mountain. Well, we're at the Great Valley. So how are we supposed to get across anyway? Huh? Adol, look at that! Huh, what? This tree? Whoa! Hold up a second! Um... What? What the? The roots of that big old tree reach all the way here like a bridge. We could definitely get across the valley using that. That's, this tree wasn't here the last time we passed through this area. Maybe we missed it somehow. Excuse me, no we didn't. How could we miss a tree that big? And if this tree was already here, then why would Doki say this would be difficult to cross? Um... Alright, well anyways, let's go across that magically appearing tree branch. Which is ridiculous. Nope. It's this way. Ready to perform! Ah, I don't wanna fall. I don't want to fall! What an awesome sight! Could this tree be... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> something's there! Ooh, rare materials, please. Yeah. We're up pretty high, but I guess that wasn't so bad. Guess it's nice we didn't have to go on some wild detour. True, but... This place seems strange. Hmm. I agree, though calling it strange may be something of an understatement. It's these trees. They shouldn't exist at all. They've been extinct for ages. Same as the primordials, huh? Look! What, what, what is that? Uh... I, I, a, a griffin? What is it? How on earth? A giant primordial pterosaur. Oh. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I wonder what else is waiting for us. Let's tread carefully. Hmm. Agreed. Things are about to get very dangerous. We must be cautious. Okay. So, up this thing. This looks like a place we're going to rest. Look, this 
this might be a good spot to set up camp for the night. We got a long hike up Gendarme to look forward to. Mm hmm, yes. We should prepare by getting plenty of rest tonight. Let's set up camp, Adol. Man, I never expected to see a giant flying primordial like the one we saw. And the smaller ones were no pushovers either. Even after Kathleen refined our weapons, we still couldn't damage them. Their bodies must be more durable than the current research suggests. If we've run into more primordials like that, this might get pretty tough. Let's go as far as we can. I had a feeling you would say that. Let's not try to antagonize any primordials as we make our way through this area. We need to focus on climbing Gendarme tomorrow. We must exercise more caution than usual as we proceed. <laughs> I caught a lot today, too. All right, and I guess when we pick up with the next episode, we'll be back here with Donna. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye!